first question goes to Pete. Yes. Can you predict it? I, I've got to guess it's Meghan Markle. Meghan oh. Markle! Yay. He's <laughs> making two new shows for oh. Netflix about gardening and professional pole dancing. Oh, God. Is it true <laughs> or is it false? Oh, given it's this woman, it could possibly be true. This, I feel like every time they'd want to trip me up on this show. But no, so the thing about this is... They uh, obviously they've got this big contract with Netflix, but one thing I didn't realize is that next year it's actually up for renegotiation. So I think this is a last ditch attempt <laughs> to try and make something because I don't understand what what they've actually been paid to I'm do. I'm not being funny though. But it's insane. gardening. God, no, I don't think it's going to be renewed. Yeah, but they are. Today is the day they've released the jam, which is the glorious thing. Oh, and right. they've sent fifty pots to well forty nine. I got one <laughs> to, to influencers around the world, and it's this strawberry jam. So the gardening thing, I reckon. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm Sorry, before we talk more about Megan Mark <laughs> gives you that. <laughs> is that it's true? true? Is it's that true? a euphemism? No, she's, I like it. It is a euphemism. Yeah. No, it has just been released today, uh, really? and there's a wonderful little strawberry jam, and she's done to various people around the world, and there's uh, only 50 so far. Sorry, 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 Andrew, just to remind you, today is Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Well, I got it a few, a few days, days ago. ago. <laughs> 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 days I love Saturday, and Saturday just feels like every day of the week. It's all yeah. thrill. So, so, so yes. you received it, whilst you received it on Tuesday, today is Saturday. Yeah. I know, yeah. I realised that. I realize like, yeah. No, delayed in the post. They, they put one of these dodgy stamps on. That was the problem. So, so uh, and, and, Andrew, I'm sorry, yes. look, and I appreciate this is about the news, but we just want to know about this jam. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, yeah. this is the news. So Meghan Markle is doing this new thing, this culinary thing. Yeah. She's making this strawberry jam. I... And she's sent it around to the 50 pots of the only thing so far. And people will talk about it on. They said, can you talk about it on the Andre show when instead of the thing yeah. about pole dancing? <laughs> and it's glorious. Hang on, hang on. Aren't you, and, and you are also a barrister in addition I to am. the am. So I think, and obviously you can't offer legal advice on yes. this, but I think legally we can uh, criticise it for the purposes of the news yes. and say we think it's terrible. Well, <laughs> you, you, you can say whatever you like about the jam, it's going to spread gloriously. And, <laughs> what, <laughs> look what marmalade. Do you know um, what? Do you know what? Talking to you, Andrew, yes. is like opening up one big Christmas crack. Yeah. It's true. It's, it's a tattoo of joy. But, uh, but I, I would you recommend it. Her? They rented out a different mansion yes. in the same neighbourhood as that oh, they well, live in would, in Montecito because they didn't want to use their own. And I was like, just, you know, they've already got a mansion that's got seven be seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms or something yes. ridiculous mm. like that. And I'm like, just use your own house. No, no, no. Isn't that the well, point of these shows? She needs a bedroom shows? for each one of her faces. Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> 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 she, 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 she wants to high be, school she wants, to be, she wants to be the Martha Stewart. Remember yeah. Martha Stewart, who was a global brand? Yeah. Still is a global Didn't she brand. go to prison? Uh, she yeah, wants she to be the, the other one. <laughs> 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 and they told us they told us to make sure they wouldn't have to edit the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's got to be good. But that's what she wants to do. So to no. becoming an icon on yeah. that sort of basis. But I, in fact, I don't think it's pole dancing. What I actually think it is, is I think it's polo. If I remember rightly. Oh, yeah. She's a world expert but, in no, polo. But, no, but Prince Harry is. Oh. Prince Harry is... Yeah, so oh, no, okay. 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 Prolo. I want to ask you, you know, your family work for Heinz. <laughs> do you, think, to, do you yeah. think that you'll be trading in the beans for any American orchard Riviera? Oh, I was going to say, oh, yeah, that's, that's, the, um, that's the lifestyle company or whatever it is, isn't it? But no, it'll be interesting to see where this goes because I do think this is their last ditch attempt because everything else, let's be honest, has been a flop. All people have watched it because they hate it. Yes. And I think that's that's kind of her brand hey, now. People hate it. Let's be fair, though. I don't ho hold out much hope, do you? No, not really. No, no. not that. <laughs> gardening and totally. Do, you know, do you know what I think's going to happen? I bet I bet the jam yes. is actually peanut butter, but uh, it's jam because that's her truth. This is not true. No, it's not God, true. true. <laughs> Look, I believe it to be yeah. true, so it's true. No, yes. but on the polo thing, I because apparently it's an exclusive behind-the-scenes access into the world of polo and stuff. Yes, I bet it's a fascinating that, world. I've got to say, I bet that might be quite interesting if but it was done by other people. It is people. a glorious world, absolutely. Yeah. And but, they talk about but hang on yeah. a second. This is the thing that people don't know about polo, and yes. I actually know a bit about it, right? Yes. And the reason I know a bit about it is, believe it or not, it's not an elite world. No. You can go for free. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every, yeah. Single, right. every yeah. single match, apart from probably the Cartier, is yeah. free to walk up yeah, to. It is, yeah. But it costs a few quid to participate, yeah. doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> to be it fair. Does cost, yeah. You can't get on the pony. You can't get on the pony with your mallet. What is better? than watching aristocrats who basically lost their marbles <laughs> yeah. running at each other on horseback yeah. with hammers. I mean, yeah, no, 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 it's, 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 it
big polo in the park, don't they? Yes. Here in London. I, I go every year. But it's do, a really but, good day. But they had cow <laughs> went near where I... We, we yeah. grew up with horses. I had 18 oh. horses when I was growing up. Oh, my Lord. And, uh, thank you. Uh, and great horses <laughs> and other bits of pieces. So it's that sort of area. We love yeah. polo. And it is. It's a glorious thing. But hang on a second. Polo. Hang on a second. Right. Yes. The, the problem is with Meghan Markle. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know whether what I'm about to say is true, but it seems to me that she probably doesn't know anything about polo. She's just thrown that into the mix because she's a minor former royal. Well, I, I think it's interesting. I, I think probably Harry spoke about it I a think, lot. Yeah, I, I think yeah. he would have taken her along to a few of these th things. And, and she's very good at, at acting and things like that. <laughs> I, I, she, I won't go that far. <laughs> she would do that role rather well, Do you remember, do you remember, do you remember the, the, the single tear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's acted like she loves him for quite a few Ooh. years now. I'll I tell, 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 tell you what I thought was the real worst piece of uh, acting or or self-interest was when she demanded, and by the way, it was her press officer who yeah. told newspapers in the UK about this, she demanded a significant role at the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral, <laughs> even though she wasn't going to be there. Yeah. So she put, they want, so she insisted a card be put on top of the coffin so it could be clearly seen on camera. I mean, what that constitutes is little more than just harassing an old lady yeah. when her husband's <laughs> died. But then she, really she promoted the florist. Yes. That, that, so she actually, yes. who knows if she got back hand or whatever. The florist, she actually put out tweets saying thank you to this branded yeah. the florist. There, there is a good side to everybody. And actually, I was in Cannes a few days no, ago. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, no, 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 I was with Abigail Spence, who was with Megan in Suits. You remember the, oh, yes. the wonderful yeah, series? Yeah. Mm. And she was saying, actually, there's a really nice side to her as well. They portray it in a, in, a, in a terrible way. Harry has the good things about Prince Harry, and I'd like to speak up about these, is like things like the Invictus Games, yeah. which are She's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. So all credit to him on that sort of basis. But you're right, the jam is interesting. Okay, well, before, yeah. before we ask Pete, before we ask Pete yep. for the answer, Lois, can you put that pen away? <laughs> oh, that's a pen! <laughs> we wondered what it was. <laughs> She's sort of flailing this know, pen. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a pen, it's not a pen. I'm sorry. <laughs> this isn't Newsnight, we've got viewers. <laughs> 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 so, so, Pete, I think we're all agreed that there is a gardening thing. <laughs> yes. But ah. is the show about gardening and pole dancing? I don't ah. think it's pole dancing. I'm going to say this is false. It's absolutely false! Yay! Thank you. So to Lois. Yes. In a desperate bid to boost applications, the Royal Navy is now recruiting non-swimmers. <laughs> now, now before, before we ridicule oh this too God. much, yes. I don't know what, uh, what people think about this, but um, I think if you go into the Atlantic, even in June, <laughs> yeah. right, the, your ability to swim will make no difference yes. whatsoever. But they do normally like swimmers. Well, absolutely. Uh, yeah, uh, to... Uh, to have be, uh, na Navy officers that can't swim, for me, or anyone in the Navy, is a bit like having soldiers that can't run or can't do the assault courses. We, know, we not... have seen that we before. Well, <laughs> absolutely. I mean, you it's, know... It's, it's called the Army of the Irish Republic. <laughs> it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a bit like the police, you know, there used to be a height restriction and there used to be, you know, had to have a certain level of fitness. They'll just recruit literally anybody. We used to, I, I know this might be slightly hypocritical of me to say, but when I worked at the House of Commons, we used to call P Division of the Met the Parliamentary yeah, Guards. Yeah. We used to call them the fatties. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're all big. They're all big. Do you know what? We saw, if anyone attacked the place, we'd roll them off. <laughs> do you know what? I'm, I'm going to do something. I'm actually going to defend this. OK. Because yeah. I listened to you what like the... the no, I didn't. No comment. Uh, I listened to what the, the Navy spokesperson said in yes. response to these criticisms. And they said, what it is, is it's, if you don't know how to swim, the Navy will teach you how to swim. And what right. the point was, is that it's going to, it's going to, encourage applications for people who don't know how to swim and um, from having to take private lessons, which can be very expensive. Mm. So the point is what the Navy was saying is that, look, we'll teach you how to do it. And I would point out that the recruitment for the Navy is at an eight-year high, which I think is quite impressive considering everything else that's going on. So in a way, this isn't as ridiculous as it sounds, but there is the problem of... You have the lowering Navy standards. swims test and the it, lowering exactly. the standards. And so it used to be, yeah. or well, currently is, uh, until they changed the rule, yeah. 30 minutes you had to yeah, swim, swim by it. 30 um, minutes is quite a, it's a long time. To swim. And, and that's is. before you could even get and in. It's a very that, big yeah. ocean. They still yeah. say that if you couldn't pass that test, you basically wouldn't pass phase yes, one, one. Yeah. until you do it. So when, it's, when, when um, 
Was it Penny Mordaunt, yes. who was an officer in the Royal Navy? Navy she made a speech in Parliament in which she said one of the tests she had to complete was testicle care at sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She said, she said they, they decided yeah. this was going to be a unisex course and yeah. she had to sort of do a diagram of her pretend testicles and how yeah. she would keep them. Yeah, yeah I, I remember her giving it. Uh, but but I have to say, that the whole idea that you have to swim is a bit nerve-wracking. If you're going to become a sailor, yeah. the whole, you want to stay on that. The ship does the yeah. swimming for you. Uh, <laughs> you don't go in a plane and say, look, I can fly. Well, you know? hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yes. That's what they do in the RAF. They hire people who cannot fly, and yeah. and, and exactly. that's, that's, that's what they do. Point. Yeah. That's so so point. before we um, t talk to you any further, we're going to say, uh, for legal reasons, we're required to have some balance. So what we decided to do was get our head of diversity and dress him up as a rabbit. That way, he can advocate a left wing position mm. whilst also looking like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I get so, funnier every week. Oh, no. I, I, well, you know the worst bit the other week. He said, "I've just laid these eggs. You're a bunny." <laughs> 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 Andre, can I can I make a slightly esoteric, serious point about this? Now, it was dads who used to take boys swimming at yeah. public mm. pools, and most kids knew how to swim. This has actually got quite a sad element to it for me, this, this whole thing, that these, like, these young men can't swim. I, I think this is connected to absent fathers and, and, and the destruction of the nuclear family. I know it sounds a bit weird, but... Well, I have to say <clears> to you, <throat> I have to say to you, thanks for, thanks for telling me that. And, and, and the reason I'm going to make that point is because I thought to myself, how many young people can't swim? Yeah. Do you know, it's yeah. funny you say this because I was only, I was at a drink thing a couple swim. of weeks ago and we were talking... Uh, sorry, about sorry, is that true of you or the thing inside <laughs> you? They're, right, just to be clear, there is nothing inside me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I... <laughs> I was at a, a thing talking with some friends and I, I just said, oh, I went swimming for a bit. I'm about th there was about five of us and about three people said they didn't know how to swim. I, I don't know whether it's just a privilege, that I don't know, but I was yes. genuinely shocked. But hang on, but hang on. And I've noticed it more since I moved to London. <laughs> And I've been here saying, nearly 10 years. Actually, this is probably a bad example because I'm assuming that we went to primary school in the same borough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So, so, um, but, but all that happened at our primary school was everyone went swimming once a week. Mm. You yeah. had to, and yeah. you get little yeah. badges, don't you? Yes, yeah. yeah. little badges. No, you so on your trunks. Your trunks. Yeah. Yeah. I also, I also went to school yeah, yeah. in a borough. I remember that. Oh, no, sorry, just repeat that. You went to school in a borough. Yeah. Uh, oh, there oh, are. Oh, oh, very that good. Was, for those listening on the radio, that was the Wokes Wabbits attempt at you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Hair but, today, gone tomorrow. But OK, <laughs> so, um, well, I'll, I'll tell you something. It has left oh, me thinking, oh, though. See, has I'll left me thinking. The when the Woke Wabbit said, well, to be fair, they don't recruit people for the RAF who can fly. <laughs> so, that's, so that's a fair point. But, uh, Lois, do we think that the um, Royal Navy is now allowing non-swimmers. Is it true or is it false? Oh, my God, it's true. It's, it's absolutely true! <laughs> OK, Andrew, Go on, we've then. deliberately given you this question because you're a lawyer. I, yeah. you're, you're going to be a little bit careful. I'll argue both sides. Come on, Go on, on, then. Come on. Come on bring Go it on. on. OK, disgraced BBC star <laughs> Hugh Edwards yes. is still being paid over 400,000 a year by the BBC and now lives with his mum. I think the last bit of it... <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last bit of it is... I think the, the last bit is a bit unnecessary, but quite right, until... And he should be paid uh, all that sort of side and, until it sort of happens and, and you go through the formal process. Oh, so what, oh. So what you're saying is this, the league, this, 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 this is the BBC covering its bum? I, I think until the whole thing has been decided and you look at the contract yeah. and do that sort of stuff, I'll tell you I'll argue both oh, things. No, I'm not sure about the mum bit, but I, I, think, <laughs> I, I think the other bit... But, Andrew, but Andrew, Andrew yes. on a serious note, um, what upsets me about a lot of this employment law, and, and, and indeed people like you, and I like you yes, personally... thank you. ..is that, you know, <laughs> these things can drag on for years. Yes. And this guy... Th this guy's never going back to the BBC. No. This guy's been discredited. And it might be, it might be, and I don't know, he could end up earning a million pounds after he left. Well, and yeah. going to the jungle. Unwise but not illegal could yeah, be interesting. Yeah. Remember that wonderful phrase that yeah. applied to somebody different? So we don't know yet. I'd have you, all, did, you see, did you see... Did you see that printer who publicly put on his Facebook, stop asking me to make T-shirts that say otherwise, but not <laughs> really. But yeah. they should, they, somebody should trademark the yeah. words because yeah. they're making. Can I, can I point out that, that, that that particular printer was for um, young gay men going to pride events? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's interestingly because I hadn't realised until yes. I, I was reading about this. Hugh Edwards hasn't been on TV since July last year. Yes. And he's still being paid this. I think you're right that he's got yeah. to go through the process, but go we have to ask, yeah, no. why is this process but taking Pete, so Pete, Pete, long? Sometimes it pains me to see him on 400 grand a year. Yeah. Uh, when, when what we on? About 400, <laughs> 400 a month. <laughs> <laughs> but you, <laughs> that's, that's before tax. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. But Hunt. you would think, um, you know, that... With 400 grand a year, he'd be able to get his own flat, wouldn't you? <laughs> 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 no, but I, on, on Staying that... Staying with his mum is a yeah. bit 
yeah. really sad, really. Apparently, it's with his mum in Carmarthenshire, I think it is. This just seems to have been handled the worst yeah. ways possible in every single step of this. And they have made an absolute error in everything. And that, at some point, somebody has to get fired from the BBC. I don't know what you have to do, but somebody's got to get fired. Because it is. this is just getting ridiculous now. It's just story after story, craziness after craziness. And, and, and that's the problem in case the phone rings. Yeah, oh, my yeah. goodness. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, oh psychic. Okay. It's, uh, oh, yes, Andrew predicted the phone would ring. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as if he'd seen me off camera. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this is the producers. It's becoming tiresome now. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Hugh Edwards, 400 grand a year, true or false? I, it's got to be true. It's got to be Absolutely. true. Absolutely true. I want to apologise to those of you watching that my card's the wrong way round. <laughs> the woke wabbit has one job, <laughs> which is to put these cards together. And I think we've now discovered two weeks running, he can't do it. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is, for the purposes of making it look good, I'm going to turn this card round and then I'm going to have to swap it back oh, when it comes to reading the questions. <laughs> Absolute idiot. <laughs> There's going to be people watching this thinking, I'd love my son or daughter to get into TV, and we're hiring oh, yeah. that. Yeah. That's, that's what I got. Right, yeah. that's what I got. Anyway. What do you even mind? Is that even a Nepo, baby? <laughs> <laughs> it's just unbelievable. So, to Pete. Hello. Um, the Conservative Party has suspended Hang Lee on. Anderson's... What? You're reading that upside down. It's the... It's... Un... I hate you. I hate you. Right. Look, let's try and get the show back on the road. Pete. Yes. The, the Conservative Party has suspended Lee Anderson's wife after she was spotted campaigning for Reform UK. Oh, God. Is it true? Oh, I, is it false? I swear, the producers <laughs> of the show are trying to give me an aneurysm by asking questions <laughs> on reform every single week. So, so do you know what happens in, in the pre-production meeting? Nothing, because it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but, but when I talk, when I talk to the producer, the producer always goes, We'll put something that in about reform to upset. That <laughs> just upset me every week. You know, I didn't say that because it's in my heart. But did when... she work? Sorry, did she work for the tour? Yes. So yeah. his wife is a senior uh, local council councillor oh, okay. in Nottinghamshire, right. yep. and yes. so this is the thing. So she does actually hold quite a senior position, and yes. it is one of the major rules of the Conservative Party is that you are not allowed to campaign for another political party. I think that's true in all of the major parties. It's a solid rule, and she was uh, photographed. Uh, with Lee out and about campaigning. Right at the back. Kind right of right at the back. Because up. my favourite thing is Lee saying, well, how did you know it was her? Well, we have a photograph of her yeah. and we know what she looks like. I thought that was quite <laughs> a weird Apart from that. <laughs> I know, yeah. Real I know, Sherlock Holmes I've stuff. Real yeah. Sherlock Holmes yeah. stuff. But I know, I have to admit, I think this was a little silly of his wife and of Lee to kind of get involved in this. But I think that and the Conservative well, Party have very clear rules on this stupid, and they've done the right thing. But, but the stupid thing about this, Pete, is that you are perfectly welcome to resign your membership of any yeah. political party, yes. campaign for another one, and then potentially rejoin yes, later. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I think sometimes your application at the Conservatives might be questioned a little bit, depending on if you've taken on a senior role at another party. Mm. And again, I think that's true across the board. But I, d I don't understand what his wife was thinking, because she knows the rule. It's not like she was, like, a junior member or, like, no. something like that. She was quite... She's quite Quite a, a so permanent what do you think figure. She was thinking? Oh, I don't think she was. Well, I don't think she was. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I think she was just. I, I think the the thing they'll go down is she, she was I'm out there supporting to be her the husband. I'm supposed misogynist on this show. <laughs> 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 but no, I I, I I think this was a little silliness on everybody's part. But the Conservative Party have the rule. They, they've suspended her. They'll probably well, they'll probably kick her out of the party. I wouldn't, wouldn't I be surprised. So. Now, now look, I want to ask you this, um, and probably to all of you who come from slightly different backgrounds, but yes. Lee Anderson presumably is finished. I like the bloke yeah. very much. But I don't see him winning that. No, seat. he won't. He's polling third against a non-existent Conservative candidate at the moment. What is there? Literally he's, nobody. There's literally post. nobody doing it, and he's still polling third. <laughs> but you say uh, finished. I mean, you're just talking about the immediate future, oh, right? Like, long look, time. Because well, he's a great politician. Look, as I as I've always said, yes. I I support plurality in media. I yes. love the other place yeah. as much as loving yep, this place. Absolutely. And therefore, I wish them well. Yes. Yeah. I, I don't think that's a fair comment. So the immediate term, I, I think you're right. Yeah. The polling's quite clear. Yeah. What's going to happen? So I think you're going. I, I think the, the thing with Lee is how long will that brand survive in a, in what will probably be a very anti Labour concern well, like that, um, that's the thing, isn't it? When they were looking at and the you're, polls, you're talking about yeah. Reform UK because yeah. yeah. I don't want to have an argument yeah. with the other place. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, but that, that's that's what I'm saying is that. You know, once Lee is probably likely to lose his seat, he'll probably go on to do more kind of TV yes. stuff. But well, how long will that stay relevant? Well, the, pro whether, the big, the big problem is the big problem is, and obviously Lois uh, is campaigning for the UKIP leadership. Yeah. One that, look, 
it, these minor political parties are successful in getting their issues on the table. Yeah. But outside um, some of these, uh, you know, elections for regional assemblies or national parliaments, as other people call them, um, they, they don't they don't do particularly well. No, it's it's only the regional parties like the Plaid Cymru's of this world yes. that do OK. But anyway, something to think about. Pete, has yep. the Conservative Party suspended Lee Anderson's wife? Is it true or is it false? It's 100% true. It's absolutely yeah. true! That was The Woke That Was continues after the break. Welcome back to That Was The Woke That Was. OK, the Labour Party has announced plans to implement a new tax <laughs> specifically targeting white men who have benefited <laughs> from centuries of systemic privilege. Oh hey, my true, God. Lois, well, or I, is it false? I tell you what, tell that, in all, in all seriousness, to the white working-class boys who consistently come bot bottom of the education league tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so j just to make a serious point there, how are they benefiting from, from the white privilege? You know, and I, I talked the other but day... How, but how, 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 is it, how is it beneficial to a white kid from, say, East, East Glasgow? Yes. That, that the king also happens to be white. Of what? How does that yeah. make him richer or more successful? Because basically what they're saying is, they're saying, because Andre Walker is a white dude, you've got to kick that ladder of opportunity away from other white people. Yeah. Well, how is that How is that in any way fair? Well, I think that I read that TFL actually has a policy now of not employing white people. Yes. Yeah. And, I mean, that well, sounds I've, I've, ridiculous I've said, to us, doesn't Lois, it? Lois, I've always said that I'm comfortable in saying that the Greater London Authority is a racist institution. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy saying saying that because of the way that their marketing refuses to have white people yeah. and because they're hiring policies. Yeah. Is that, am I legally well, I, well, that? I think you're legally entitled to all sorts of opinion there. So. <laughs> <laughs> freedom of speech, but not freedom from Tell that to Brussels <laughs> at the moment. But the interesting yeah. thing is, and there was an employment tribunal which has just held that basically if you say, are you playing the race card, don't play the race card with me, that in and of itself, so, that statement yeah. is racist. Yeah. What? And, and so the that, that, there was the I same mean, thing. Yeah. So there's been an employment tribunal exactly on that, and it was actually to do with a guard. Yeah, it was. Um, and there was a Rastafarian person who's normally in guard. He was out of uniform. He was playing my glorious instrument. My stepfather's Rastafarian. There you go. Yeah. What, was it? Your <laughs> baby? Baby, your oh, no. <laughs> but they walked along. There was a you guard. You wouldn't expect a UKIP leader to say that, <laughs> would you? <laughs> but that's what happened. So they came along. He was out, out of. Uh, he was in civvies, I think they called him. Here we are. <laughs> it's her stepfather. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> stepfather. And, and also, uh, your stepfather has said that there's actually a restaurant in Jamaica called Rasta Pasta. Hey, <laughs> he didn't say that. Yeah. Yeah. It is true. It is true. <laughs> yeah, but so, no, I, I think Andrew's right here. It's is my job to be right. That's the one compliment Pete, you get. Pete, yes, can, I, can I say this to you? I don't understand on these all this racist element where you go. So if you say I've got a black friend, then they uh, then they say friend that's of, racist. Friend of colour. Yeah, yeah, okay. Of colour. Yeah. But but then you say, well, imagine if you said well, I haven't got any black friends at all. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> Would that make you anti-racist? It's whatever you say. <laughs> yeah. It's racist. It's wrong. Well, yeah, yeah, the, exactly. the worst thing about it is they were rehearsing for Trooping the Colour. Now, what's that about? Yeah, I know. You work on that sort of principle. There's all sorts of issues. Well, I had, I had, a, very, I had a very good friend of mine who's Jamaican who was in the Trooping of the Colour yes. playing a fairly minor role. Yes. And he said the minute the BBC arrived, they were all over me. They are going, oh. oh, it's so far. You know, the first black sergeant to do it. And he said, yeah. he said look, you know, it's not me that's leading this, yes. right? And, and, and he said, in the end, he had to just avoid the BBC. Yeah, really? Because I, I it was gen just it genuinely yeah, doesn't obsessed. surprise me. But the thing that really annoys me is I find the concept of white privilege and the ones that really advocate for it, I think it's up there with one of the worst bits of woke. Because, mm. like, I think, one, it's a complete misunderstanding of history. Yeah. Like you said, what, what they do is they take a... As a group of very, very hyper successful white men and use that as an overlay for all of society, yeah. which is just ahistorical. It's just inaccurate yeah, in every right. single way. It also makes a massive disservice for when there's real prejudice. When the, yes, we exactly. must long for the and day when people are, are blind as the sex yeah, colour, yeah. the religion. I think the other thing, the other thing, thing is, Absolutely. and this is the bit that people forget yeah. when you look at these enormous mansions um, of people who were slave traders, yes. almost all of them. In, in the Caribbean came from the British government giving them a payoff yeah. just to end slavery, yeah. Yeah. right? So, really? so the houses were not the money from the... No. It was literally us, the British taxpayer, that bought all those buildings. So ben I'm Slater. quite happy yeah. when that owner of... I think it was... Is it Herwood House or whatever? Yes. He's, going, yeah. he's going, maybe we should give it to... X, 
ethnic minority community, give it back to bloody yeah, taxpayers! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taxpayer! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Taxpayer! Yeah. History is ugly. If you go back far enough, oh. there's rapes it's and pillages and that sort of stuff. Well, I know, but... Yeah. What's what, sort of stuff. Andrew, what's uglier, history or you? Oh! oh. oh. Thank you, and that, I thought, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the wabby oh. That's <laughs> Andrew Bourne's mum saying, leave my boy alone. <laughs> 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 I always oh, no. enjoy. Um, no, but you're right. Um, what we need to do is get to a position where we actually focus on the abhorrent stuff that is going on. Yeah. Because there's some things... And what happens, it basically dilutes all the interest and, and the focus from what the real issues are. Absolutely. And that's now, the scandalous look, thing. We did explain at the beginning of the show that we're required to have a head of diversity. We hate this person, although I will tell you that there's an update this week. Because of the James Whale uh, MBE party, he has got rid of the mullet. Because <laughs> he, was, he was told he was simply not going to be allowed in yeah. with the mullet hairdo. Yeah. Anyway, so what we do is we ensure that there's balance on the show, but dress it up in a ridiculous costume. Go. Look. The Labour Party is not radical enough, unfortunately, to implement such a tax. So obviously it's false. But I'm glad that we're having a conversation about, you know, stripping white men of more power and wealth. What about <laughs> white rabbits? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, it's a rabbit. Say. White rabbits, that's what you say for luck, isn't it? Yeah, yeah white rabbits. And, and you no, have to no, chop no. off his foot. Sorry, hang sorry. on, hang on. Ebon, you've come here wearing a tie with a fox on it, which I, 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 I did I that. Which is, by the way, they very... Said, the fox? And a chicken. This is, this is very <laughs> triggering for me, so I'm going to have to ask you to remove that, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take off the tie. Come Take on, it off. It's going to trigger. It's a nice right, tie. I like it. Don't tie. Yeah. The woke, the woke oh. rabbit is now going to attack the evil. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll, I'll, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. I'll take it off. <laughs> <laughs> the evil is being throttled. Give, give me the tie. Give me the tie. Okay. 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 It's a damn so, 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 right, shut up about the tie now. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, um, he's taking it off. I, I take it off. It's, it's a nice... I'll put it in my pocket. Shall Andrew, I, Andrew, are you willing to I take the off? shirt off as well? Yeah. Uh, no, OK. <laughs> I, I, I'm doing top back. <laughs> OK, he's not, he's not wearing any trousers already, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, that was a joke. OK, Lois, uh, Labour Party, have they announced plans to uh, have a white man tax? Is it true or is it false? Not yet, <laughs> but I wouldn't put it past them in the next government because they are Marxist communists, um, so it's false. It's absolutely false! Yeah. You're doing well tonight. I'm glad it's false. Saturday night, there's no better place to be. Yvonne, yeah, Yvonne, I, feel, I, feel, <laughs> I, feel, I feel quite bad about how I've had a go at you. Oh, no, Actually, you look good like that. Is, is that good now? Should, 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 we, do that? should we do that without I prefer it without the tie. The without tie the tie. Was, uh, was Saturday night, isn't it? Saturday, Saturday, Saturday night, I should have Drake a tie. Drake and I should lose my tie. I know, you should, I think oh, we should all lose your tie. All lose your tie. No, no, no. You can't, there's a microphone on it. Microphones connected That'll upset to the it. sound department. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Andre, you're so super professional. The mic's on the tie. <laughs> <laughs>Okay, so to Andrew. Yes. The iconic London Library in St James's Square yeah. has been slammed for hosting an event that claims Shakespeare was a woman. Yes. I, I think that's right. I think that's absolutely true. And, and Shakespeare was a woman, a lovely woman too. <laughs> um, <laughs> called <laughs> called Be Betty Andrews. Betty, it was yeah. Betty, Betty, <laughs> Betty Andrews. But what I love, and actually that's what a lot of people don't know, is that's where the word drag came from. Yes. Mm -hmm. So dressed as a dressed girl, as as a a girl, girl. Was, was Shakespeare in mm -hmm. times because and only you can have only male actors, yeah. and so that's what they used to do. So I think it's a lovely idea, and I think we should imagine whatever oh. Shakespeare... Because there is basically a lot of arguments about who Shakespeare actually was, yeah. and whether Shakespeare, yeah. this chap called William Shakespeare, actually wrote any of it. There was so an so, 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 so there's, always been, there's always been a suggestion... I like your tie, I, by the way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So the woke rabbit is now in Andrew E. Bond's <laughs> tie. <laughs> it's, called, it's, called, it's called Musical Clothes. <laughs> it's a new game. <laughs> Thank you. And they've been playing it down my street for years. Yes. It's swinging. <laughs> um, OK, <laughs> but... but, but uh, Andrew, so there's always been debate about yes. how much of Shakespeare Shakespeare wrote. Yes. Now, I've got to be honest with you, there's always a principal writer of plays and people Absolutely. will edit yeah. and yeah. whatever, so I don't, I don't think it's a particular problem. But is the suggestion here that literally he was... A woman. Well, the, yeah. the interesting thing, it was an early version of Chat GPT, which used to compose these little things. So Shakespeare used to tap away on that sort of stuff. And they used to be uh, by committee as they would do these things. Chat GPT, can I tell you, Chat GPT, uh, Danielle Nichols, yes. when she said, Can you do a biography of Jan Danielle Nichols? It started as Danielle and then turned into Holly Willoughby. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But my one, my one, my one, my one was even better. It said, Andre Walker, born 1979. Correct. Very good. Uh, he's a presenter on Talk TV. He founded Sprint Telecom in 1980. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, and was a, no. He's originally from South End, and I turned into yeah. the businessman Matt Harper Walker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Can I, can I just say that this is a nice 
violation, though, um, of another white, historical, respected yes. figure. Good. Yes. And, and, it, and it's all deliberate because they don't attack white female historical figures. They don't say... Oh, J.K. Rowling, they're attacking yeah. her. Well, no, but, they, you know, it, it's... She's about, historical now. Oh, yeah. poor thing. It's about the, you know, the annihilation of everything that is English, everything yeah. that is good, everything that's clever. Yes. But, you know, is it the two trans women well, of people, Verona? Or is this what you do about nothing? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, God. Lois, hey, hey, hey. hey, Lois, hey. We, we, you know, this, we always get into trouble when we, we when people accuse accuse people of going too far with this idea of great replacement, this and whatever. Yes. The problem is, for whatever reason, British heritage is under attack. Mm. Yes. Right? Yes. There is, I mean, I have Church to say, to, I've, I've, made, I've made this point before about my mate who's an Eastern European who said the first thing you do with low-level ethnic cleansing is pull the other guy's statues down. Yeah. Yeah. Then you start banning their history in schools. Yeah. Then you start making it no longer a requirement to use their language. Then you have uncontrolled immigration. Yeah. And now, I am not saying there is a deliberate policy of ethnic cleansing in Britain. There isn't. But what is happening is a lot of things are coming together that has the same effect. Yes, yeah. I couldn't agree more. And, and you'll remember, I talked about ChatGPT, you remember Gemini and that yeah. glorious software, and they talk about history. They basically rewrote history no. in a very woke version. So there were lots of people of colour uh, who were these big, iconic white people in the, in the past. Well, I've got, to, I've got to say that uh, one of my... I think my goddaughter was learning in school for one whole term about, is it Henry VIII's flute player? Yes. So, so, there was, so there was a reference, and this is the only reference, Henry VIII's flute, flute player was black there right you go. now because apparently 20 percent of the school are non-white 20 percent of history lessons are dedicated to this person and the only thing we know no. about them <laughs> yeah. is it was <laughs> we don't know whether it's a yeah. man or a woman we don't know the age yes. we don't know even whether black meant what we think it is today, mm. but still. And they write entire essays on how this person must feel. It is yeah, a but, but it ties in with your earlier story, because Henry VIII, that's why they call it the senior service. That's yeah. when the Navy was invented mm. in Henry VIII's time. It's the... Uh, uh, the yeah. Oh, there we go. Well, look, look, here we go. All <laughs> oh, right, OK. Yeah, yeah. Let the woke rabbit speak. Oh. Go on. <laughs> go on, woke rabbit. <laughs> To well, at least do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, like I didn't die. I didn't want you. I've been on the I've radio. Got, I've just switched off. <laughs> I'm going to have you here for legal reasons, right? At least, at least do your job in some way. To be a woman or not to be a woman, that is the question. <laughs> and that, I think, I think the and question that is what. Is what and that is what you've been spending the last <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, I just want to make a quick point is that the London Library for a yes. long time has been a cultural hub in this country. It, it has been going since the time of Dickens. Virginia Woolf was a member. Yep. You know, it is it has a great membership list. It's now it's now all the kind of lovies that are part of it, like mm. Tom Hanks and Bill Nye and people like that. Helena Bob Carter, I think, is a member. I didn't realise it was £565 a year. Bargain. Well, which I actually didn't think was that bad, and then I realised I've lived in London too long. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I, to, be, I, to, be, to be honest with you, for £565. £65 a year, you could have, remember, one mixed grill from Weatherspoons, including pint. <laughs> <laughs> per week. Per week. Yeah. Per week. Oh, per week. <laughs> no, but and I, I just want to pick up something that Lois said, and I think you're bang on correct, is that yet again, there seems to be another male historical figure that has come under attack, or they need to change the history to fit in with, with what is now considered like the norm, yeah. even though yeah. it's just I mean, not I saw, the norm. I, I, it's, it's I, saw, to me. I saw an unbelievable thing that there was criticisms of the film Dunkirk, yes. where they said there was there was a lack of black and ethnic minority people. Yes, there was. was there? Yeah. Yes, there was. <laughs> yes, but, and that's the thing, isn't no, it? I have no problem. I have no problem, by the way, on on somebody criticising that in no film about D-Day they show Sikh soldiers. Yeah, yeah. I do accept yes. that. But at Dunkirk, oh, yeah. there were no ethnic I, minorities. I watched, um, I watched uh, a kind of press conference for another film that was based in I think it was Norway in the 1700s, and somebody said, "Well, there's a lack of diversity." And the the, the lead actor. I can't, I can't remember. I think it was Mads Mikkelsen when it's Norway in the 1700s. <laughs> yes. Hello! We, like, there weren't <laughs> any people of colour. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, in fact, actually, they were just all gingers. Yeah. <laughs> so there wasn't even a diversity <laughs> of white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, but anyway, Andrew, yeah. has, has um, the library... Uh, the answer is yes, it it's has. It's absolutely true! Yes. We've got 100% record so far. <laughs> okay, well, okay, well. That was The Woke That Was continues after the break. Welcome back to That Was The Woke That Was. OK, so the next question is to Pete. HMRC wasted over £4 million last year on a string of diversity, equality and inclusion jobs. 
Is it true or is it false? Well, the, this is one of these, is it only four million? Yeah. See, this is one of these questions because, you know, the, the HMRC, and it's not just HMRC, it's all of the civil service, seem to spend an extraordinary amount of money on diversity, inclusion, yes. and um, you know, all the equality and all the rest of it. Well, I think they call it equity now. They don't use um, equality, but... It's, it is the thing I the reason I keep like when we have these questions is because it allows me to bring up the point that these this is about choices that there is an X amount of money and people are deciding to spend most of this money on something that just doesn't need to be done I don't know about you but I don't need my diversity coordinated <laughs> and I, I remember there was a little while ago that somebody went that these people kind of went on strike and nobody noticed yeah. <laughs> no. and it was just one of those strong, no, my, fa my moments, favorite yeah. my favorite ever strike was the border agency oh, yeah. when border security yeah. improved it's improved. <laughs> it's, 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 Incredible! Isn't it? What I found shocking there's something called the alumni for free uh, for, for free speech, and, yeah. and, and basically they're looking at the students, and they worked out that they spend two hundred times as much on equity, diversity, yeah. and inclusion, or just equity yeah. now, uh, uh, as they do on freedom of speech. Yeah. And these are the universities. Yeah. So is that that shocking statistic? By, by, yeah. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you something, and, and and I've said this before, and it might sound extreme, Andrew. Andre, extreme. No, <laughs> um, I think that what we need to do is create a new criminal offence, yes. which is conspiracy to prevent free speech on campus. Well, I, I think and, and I would make it a criminal offence with a five-year prison term. Oh. And I'll tell you the reason why. It sounds like a very, very draconian move. But first of all, you're trying to stop somebody yes. ending, ending debate. Yeah. I think that the toxicity of this sort of thing is so bad it represents a risk it, to our national security. It, it's destroying our intelligence as well. If you do yeah. not surround yourself mm. with alternative views, you're just going to have that blinkered view of the world mm. and that's going to be appalling one, for the future. One official view. I mean, on Tuesday, just gone, yep. we had Nigel Farage and, and others, I think Sula Braverman, yeah. actually locked in with police outside um, in Brussels where they're just trying to have a conference with different views. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the mayor, so the EU in effect, yeah. Um, has, has sent, you know, has sent them, sent them in. I mean, how, how on earth can that be not an own goal for the EU? Yeah. It's, it's absolutely crazy. And I think we should praise people who, who are champions yeah. of free speech. So JK Rowling, who in bowling, as we always mentioned beforehand, yeah. what she has done yeah. uh, in uh, basically against this sort of Scottish hate yes. uh, yeah. law has been tremendous. And it's been a victory for both sides of the argument. Yeah, because 100%. Because you need to have a platform where you can have alternative My thing with freedom and of make speech the informed is, decision. I don't look at it as the speaker's right. I look at it from the audience's yes. right. Because should Putting down freedom of speech isn't done because you think that the speaker shouldn't say it. It's more along the lines that these people don't trust audiences to listen mm. to something and think that, that it is wrong. Yes. <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> but no, and, and I think that's and that's, that's a and, bit. And, of it. And, that, and that I have to say is what upset me about what the person I think is the most egregious example, Steve Bray or Stop Brexit, yeah. because he is somebody who is not protesting. It is his intention to prevent and, media yeah, companies yeah, yeah. being able to talk about yes. the issues that are taking place. By drowning them out. agree more. By drowning yeah, them out yeah. or yeah. shutting them down or whatever, because it's not about... It's that, it's that these people don't want you to listen to any kind of argument and yeah. agree with somebody they don't like. Because what it is, is it's easier to do that than actually debate people, Absolutely. because these people cannot debate. And, and people should go in with an open mind. Yes. I mean, and this most is the thing. Do. because most, And I think that's the reality. What I love about this channel and other bits and pieces is that you actually do that. You explore all sorts of things. Yeah. You might do it in a humorous way, but it means that we're airing topics that yeah. people don't want to talk about in yeah. other platforms. And that's what I love. You know, we should you, continue you're doing right, that. You're right, Andrew. Like, we get it all. I get, job to be right. <laughs> we get all the time with comments on Twitter saying like, "Oh, I, I like the fact that we talk about yeah, this stuff." Talk and about like, it, you know, and because on other channels they don't do it. They don't. They're not. I don't think it's that they're not brave enough to do it. And I, it's one of the things I do rather like about doing. But that. Andre makes I, a good I, point. I, I have to say on that very topic, of course, this is the week that James Well received an MBE. Yeah. What a great party! <laughs> 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 See, it's being Saturday. The party has already yeah, yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet, so, I've only just woken up. Can, uh, can, I, can I just <laughs> apologise in advance? <laughs> <laughs> but, but the, but Actually, the, no, I've been but, banned but the, from drinking at this but, one. But the, but the, reality, but the reality is, and, and we'd want to congratulate him from the yes. show, that is all about his commitment to free speech yeah. and oh. giving people an opportunity because he's the man that allowed listeners yeah. to talk yeah. on the radio. But anyway, we do have to move on. And by the way, if we're not here next week, it's because the party was very hey, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> OK. God, God bless Charlie yeah. Mullen. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah, so, Pete, has the HMRC wasted four million on equality and diversity? Yes, they have. It's true. It's absolutely true! <laughs> OK. That's in the wrong order. <laughs> OK, Lois. Yes. Angela Rayner. Yes. As, as, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> okay, Angela Rayner has been signed up by the BBC to host the next series of Homes Under the Hammer. Is it true? Yeah. Well, oh, I so hope that's well, true. Well, you know, with the combination of BBC and their views and Angela Rayner on her views, surely it'll be Homes Under Hamas. Hey. Or, or much better, Hamas Under the Homes oh. in the tunnels. So, yes. yeah, I can imagine that this happening. I have to say, I was watching Dave Gorman's Apparently, that was written by Bobby Davro. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, Dave Gorman's criticism of the TV show Homes Under Hammer, he says, <laughs> if you listen to it muted, it basically is just people walking around the houses <laughs> and looking upwards. They just play music. That is so true. They just, they just sort of walking going, you know, <laughs> but Bob and Iqbal have walked. <laughs> And they're always really diverse, the couples. I don't think I've ever seen a white heterosexual couple on Homes Under the Hammer. The other thing about Homes Under the Hammer, and apologies for the American audience, but you can find it online, all they literally do is to go, <laughs> get the script, Google a word from the script, yeah, right. and find a song with that word, word in it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I don't like cricket. <laughs> uh, yeah. But no, like, to bring it back to the... Which I think is quite a serious story around Angela Rayner and this second home issue. Yes. I, I do... I, I think there are it's a not, lot... It's not, it's not a serious issue. The political left always get away with these things. Yes. I've seen so many examples of people who behaved in a way... I mean, if you, if you look at... Uh, that conservative donor who got absolutely caned for saying something that wasn't very nice about Diane Abbott while she was suspended yeah. for racism. She's a member of parliament. Nobody cares no. about her racism. Uh, they all care about this donor. Well, what's yeah. interesting, obviously, I, I talked about this beforehand, is the whole thing about the political in the lead up to elections. We're going to get more and more of these smear campaigns. Yes. The yeah. massive poll difference is going to get narrower and narrower I couldn't as these things come out. That. And I, I talk about sort of fake news and other bits and pieces yeah. and all the sort of little videos which are going to come out, these yeah. deep fakes of videos, as well as the real scandals. But some of it is going to be so political. And I yeah. think, in a way, just so people understand it, it's about sort of capital gains tax yes. and things like that. You get your tax exemption if it's your principal private residence. Yeah. That's the question whether I this particular say, And MPs, and I'm afraid MPs have been, have a track record. That doesn't make Angela Rayner guilty, no. by the way. But the number of MPs who've swapped around what their principal yeah, private residence yeah. is. And, and I think there have been occasions where they've swapped it four times in one yes, year. Yes, uh, there's yeah. plenty of uh, incidents like that. But the thing, if we look at this politically, the thing that the Labour, the Labour Party believe they could just ride this out. They think the, the the police investigation will come back with nothing. There's no yes. nothing going to want, and they think that that's the end of it. I don't think it is. So the polling shows that a lot of people want answers to this question. But if I put Pete, uh, no, I'm sorry, I, I appreciate yeah. you're not you're not a tax lawyer, but but I could, if Angela Rayner's right, yes. then what I could do is buy five houses. Yes. And and sell the one that I'm living in, yes. then move into the second yeah. one, yes. sell that yeah. one, so, so then move simple. into the third so, yeah. one, sell that one, and pay no capital gains so, tax. So, so yeah. that, that, the rule That's is right. you get a tax exemption, you get all of the upside and, and, and yeah. things mm. if it is your principal private residence. That's yeah. where you live. Yeah. So you can sell it and then get another one. It's so ordinary yes. people yeah, could put on the housing ladder. No, but, yeah. but, the, but the, the, the subtlety of this is I could build up a property portfolio and under the Rainer rule, as long as I... <laughs> the Rainer, Rainer rule! I'm not sure that's a tax... But as long as I was, as long as I was describing it as my principal private residence before I moved, before I sold it, yes. that would be fine. So I could have a hundred houses, well, it's, and it's, as long as I moved in one at a time. A, a real topical reference: Abraham Lincoln used to say, "If you count the tail of a dog as a leg, how yeah. many legs does a dog have?" Five. One. Five. No, it has four because just because you call well, it yeah, a yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't yeah. make it so. So you might call it your principal private residence. The test would still be there. Yeah. Is it? And if it is, you get your tax exemption. If yeah. you don't, you don't. Abraham Lincoln, how topical. I just, I yeah, I just yeah. wonder, Bobby Davro, I'll take you back. <laughs> I just, I just wonder. I just wonder, Lois, mm. whether the real problem here is the fact that the Labour Party are so obsessed with what they call tax loopholes, which, by the way, are exemptions that the Treasury themselves put in to encourage people to invest or act in a certain way. But they're going on about loopholes, and she's used one, and I think it's the hypocrisy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, and obviously there's there's more hypocrisy in that, you know, that she bought a council house, which a Labour Party is supposed to be against. Well, it's you a know, Maggie it's, Thatcher thing, isn't it? Well, oh, absolutely. But she did have a very subdued look in Parliament this week because two things must have annoyed her. The fact that Iran attacked Israel directly, so now she knows that she can't, you know, there's an obvious bad guy now. That doesn't go with her narrative. And, of course... I love know, the way you jemmied Israel. I know, yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for that. I know, that, that was, was quite impressive. That, Anyone do, 
don't think I had some sort of no, interest no, no, in can I, can, I, can I tell you something? When I was a university debater, there was a practice called squirrelling, which is <laughs> what you managed to do is start with one topic and find the way, find the way yeah. to get your own subject. No, but I, 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 I found, one thing I found staggering was Rachel Reeves comment on yes. this. She was asked directly, is um, Angela Rayner a tax dodger? And she went, Angela Rayner, uh, sorry, Rachel Reeves' response was, oh, she can't be because she's a friend and colleague of mine. Right, and I was right. like, what? that is a quote that is going to haunt your political it, it, career. It's, it's so if, if foolish, isn't it? It's you such have a stupid OK, thing we, to but, say. We, but we do have to move on. Um, has Angela Rayner decided to host Homes Under the Hammer? Please be true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true or false, Lois? <laughs> Homes Under say the true. Hammer. Say true. It, it's not true, yeah. is it? It's not true. So false. That, well, that is the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> false! <laughs>Okay, so this week, the prize, we've been told, is to get something terrible. So we chose Andrew Eborn's time! <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what are the final scores? Woke Wabbit. Pete is on 500 billion points. Whoop. Lois is on 10,000 trillion points. Oh. And Eborn is on 10,000 trillion points and one. So yeah! So congratulations to Andrew Ebon who wins back his own oh, time. Yeah. Thank you so much to Lois Perry. Thank you. Thank you so much oh, to Pete Barnes. And once again, <laughs> from that was the work that was, we want to congratulate James Whale well yeah. on his MBA yeah. and remind the company that there's more people that want them as well. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah.